Hello and welcome to Avalonius Improvement. This is Avalonius speaking. How is your day going so far? Happy New Year's Eve! Today is January 1st, Wednesday, the New Year. I tell you what, I don't know about y'all. But I am actually really happy that it's New Year. Um, this whole year was fantastic. Um, I definitely have enjoyed um, the whole journey that this year has brought. Um, it felt like the year went by really fast, and it did. But it was um, very uh, motivating, everything that had happened <clears throat> to me and my husband. Now, today is Wednesday, so um, I am going to start off uh, with our categories of the week. Wednesday is the laws of health. Woo -woo! So, <clears throat> I'm actually going to talk about something pretty important. It's um, about breathing clean air. Um, take a guess. What I might be talking about today. <laughs> you might be right, or perhaps not. Drink some water. Yes, this is a fishbowl, and it works perfectly for me. Okay! So, right now... <clears throat> I am going to start off with um, a kid's uh, story um, that I think that all of us would like in general, but <clears throat> those of you who are out there who do have kids, please let them come forward and uh, I'll tell them a story. Hi, kids. All right. Um, <clears throat> this one um, is called Bailey Makes Peace. Bailey wiggled with delight as mom pinned a big bow in the back of her curls. It was her birthday, and mom was taking Bailey and her friends to a tea party at a fancy restaurant. The teapot will have pink roses on it, Bailey said dreamingly, and will eat teeny tiny sandwiches with cucumbers in them. Bailey's sister, Cassie, tugged at mom's dress. I want to go too, she begged. Bailey stiffened. This party was for big girls only. No, she said. Aunt Denise will stay with you. Is my birthday tomorrow? Cassie asked. Bailey snorted and said, Ugh, No, this is April. Your birthday is in August. Cassie started to pout. When is August? She demanded. A long time from now, Bailey sighed. She hoped Cassie wouldn't start whining and spoil everything. Other people will have their birthdays before yours, Mom said. First, there's Aunt Denise's birthday and Daddy's birthday, and just then, the doorbell rang, and Cassie raced to open the door. When she saw Aunt Denise, she yelled, Happy birthday! Aunt Denise looked puzzled. Why, thank you, she said, but it's not my birthday. Say it's your birthday, Cassie wailed. Bailey laughed. Cassie was about to cry. If that happened, they might be late for the tea party. Mom explained that Cassie was wanted to go to Bailey's tea party. Bailey added, Mom said your birthday has to come before hers, so now she wants her birthday to hurry up and come. Happy birthday, Cassie said through sniffles. I guess that'd be more like, happy birthday. <laughs> Bailey thought hard. She remembered how it felt to be too little to do special things. She remembered that God always likes pacemakers. Was there some way she could make Cassie feel better? Cassie, Bailey said, you're two and a half. Your birthday will be here pretty soon. Yes. Aunt Jessie said, Denise said, I'm exactly 25 and three quarters, and my birthday will come even sooner. Cassie still whimpered. 
That gave Bailey an idea. Aunt Denise, she said, aren't you going to celebrate your 25 and three quarters birthday? Aunt Denise looked confused. So Bailey continued, you should have a tea party for your 25 and three quarters birthday. You could invite Cassie and all her dolls. Cassie stopped whining and stared at Bailey. Aunt Denise's eyes widened, and then she winked. Why, yes, she said. We must celebrate my 25 and three quarters birthday. What do you think, Cassie? Yes, Cassie shouted. Bye, Mom. Bye, Bailey. Bailey smiled to herself because she knew that God had given her the idea. She was a peacemaker. Isn't that wonderful? Thank you guys for listening to this story. Um, I really liked it. And let's see. The Arthur is... It's by Marilyn D. Anderson. Great job, darling. The story is fantastic. Well, well I'm going to go back to it being the new year. Actually, I have this out purposely for that. The new year. <laughs> Not awesome. So, um, I just wanted to say that, uh, do you guys remember back in, uh, 2000, um, when everyone's like, not everyone, a lot of people, um, committed suicide because they thought it was the end of the world and I'm sure a lot of people do it because they're sad. Well, um, I would like to say something to that effect since we are talking about the laws of health. If anyone out there um, is not feeling um, themselves, they're feeling sad, um, they would like to have someone to talk to, um, just be an ear to listen, um, <clears throat> please don't feel, um, like you're bothersome, um, the people around you do love you and care about you, and just so you know that I am a life coach, and, um, I love doing this stuff, this is one of my favorite things to do, is, um, help people in their problems, a life coach is a person who helps people in every aspect of their life, yes, I did say that, and I will not say it again, and so, um, if you ever just need a friend to talk to, uh, <clears throat> please let me know, and, uh, Send me some beautiful comments so that way I can uh, contact you personally and, um, you know, see what's going on. Um, but, you know, also, if it gets really bad and you and you feel like you need uh, to talk to someone else, you can call the Suicide Prevention. It's uh, 1-800-273-TALK. And uh, that way, you know, um, I understand that I... I'm only a human being and I can only do so much in a help wise. So, um, sometimes we need something a little bit more, but hopefully that this new year has been something fantastic. And, uh, I know a lot of you may have, uh, goals that you are trying to accomplish. Um, so I want to know what your goals are. Please comment me and let me know um, what you're doing your goals are. Whether it's working out, going on a hike, spending um, an hour actually eating breakfast. Do a lot of you do that? No. Smack you in the face. Um, you got, For real though, you breakfast is a big part of a person's uh, breakfast. Uh, morning. I mean, it's the energizing to help us to like do the things we need to do. That's, we always feel like, oh, I feel so tired. Well, are you eating the right foods? Are you eating at the time you're supposed to? Think about that. Although I'm not judging, yo. Okay. You eat how you want. <clears throat> so, um, I'm actually going to talk about something that's extremely uh, sensitive. Um, Remember how I was talking about the category is breathing clean air, breathing clean air. So what did you guys figure out what it is that we were talking about today? Well, 
I am going to tell you. Today we are talking about clean air because um, we as humans uh, and, 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 and Earth and the beings that live in Earth um, all surround um, with the idea that they have to have oxygen to breathe. Even fish and water and, and water animals, they have to have some sort of um, bubbles or something that, that has air pockets. So it's extremely important to us. Now, back in the 1950s, um, I'm sure you've seen a lot of com like cartoons or like TV shows, but also in um, going to like cafes and <clears throat> bars and think restaurants and stuff, people would uh, smoke right there. Now I think it's mostly less outside and inside is clean, but there are still a lot of places that I know that do that. Um, but I'm not here to talk about um, why it is bad to smoke. Um, I'm actually here to talk about the good uh, things that can happen if you decide to stop. Well, the first thing I would like to say is that your face will become a lot clearer. Um, your teeth won't have gunks. I had a friend, she smoked a lot of cigarettes, and she would have like this tar on the back of her teeth or hair, and she would be like, oh yeah, so you just do this and this to clean it out. I'm like, where did you get that? And, you know, she smoked a lot of cigarettes. <clears throat> so that was funky. Um, but I, I'm trying to think of what else. Your hair becomes healthier. Your hair, um, I was actually talking to my husband about this recently. Your hair that's, you know, in your whole body, you know, your armpit hair and leg hair and stuff, um, they all have a purpose. So there's spots in our body that, uh, sweat a lot more okay <clears throat> and you'll find that there will be some hair around the spots that you sweat underneath your armpits uh your legs do sweat um even your knuckles um I, sometimes i'll be working out a lot and i notice that my knuckles will like sweat a little bit like not my knuckles but like right here and just a little bit you know but anyway so your your hair sucks everything in and so <clears throat> when you're ingesting this kind of stuff especially like the tobacco which look on google okay it is literally the one of the most toxic things out there all right it, it's not even like because of the different chemicals that they put in the tobacco it's literally just the tobacco itself even if they didn't put all that stuff like you know people who like newport cigarette and uh, um native americans okay doesn't matter. Um, don't get me wrong, though. Um, I used to smoke a lot of cigarettes. I started when I was like 15, 15-ish, and I was smoking, okay, so my my first time I smoked, I had two Newports, and I was sitting in my room, and I put them both in my mouth, and I was smoking them at the same time. Um, <laughs> I got a head rush like crazy head rush. And then I tried, I tried doing, um, the things you put in, you know, your mouth, just chew on, chew. It was gross. I tried tobacco, I mean, uh, cigars, gross. I don't know. Cigarettes were one of my things. I mean, I had, I would always skip around to different ones cause I just like cigarettes. It didn't matter like what I got, you know? Um, and then then I went to the, uh, I was in, I was at this bike week in Maryland and I ended up getting, um, this vaporizer. It was like a really new concept at the time. Now it's like everywhere, you know, but at the time it wasn't like everywhere. Like it was like one of those things like, Whoa, what's this? I got one. I got all the, like the, all the juices for it and the, just everything, like literally anything that you need for it. I got it. Right. It was like a good price. And I noticed that after a while, like, my lungs just felt like, all the time. And, um, I kept getting this weird bubbling in my, like, like, up in my throat. It was coming up. It was so weird. And I kept thinking, like, 
you know, there's no ingredients on the, on the bottles, you know? So you don't even know, like, really what you're ingesting. So I ended up stopped doing that because, like, I, like, I couldn't really breathe. And so I stopped doing that, and then I started smoking cigarettes again. But, like, I would wake up in the mornings like, <laughs> like, seriously, coughing up. I still do, like, when I'm really thirsty and I wake up in the morning, I'm like, oh, I could feel it, you know? But, anyways, so, I noticed that, like, when I stopped smoking cigarettes, I didn't have, like, this, like, obsession need to, like, always have to go outside or always have to ha be doing something, you know? And, um, I noticed my, my hair cleared up, my face started clearing up, um, even my lungs felt better, and I wasn't feeling, like, like, disgusting, like, my teeth, like, my teeth, um, I fixed my cavities, so, like, I don't, I don't have all that, like, cav, I had so many cavities, because I smoked a lot, um, but, and you know, you save a lot of money, too. You save a lot, a lot of money. Um, I mean, imagine. Imagine if you live in New York City. Um, I don't know for a fact that this is true. But I've heard that um, New York City cigarettes are, like, $15 a pack or something. And I'm sure that's even more now than when I heard about it. Like, a few years ago or something. So... Crazy. Anyways, it's just something, just a thought to think about. You know, um, I know that there's always stuff like this, you know, like pamphlets, and it shows you like how your livers lurk and like the inside and all that stuff. That, yeah. But you know what? When you're doing that stuff, you know that you're you're like you're doing something to your body, you know. And it doesn't, like, when someone tells you, hey, you should stop smoking cigarettes because blah, 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 blah. Does it, does it make you want to stop? No. In fact, it makes you want to do it more because you're doing, like, they're telling you not to, you know? So, yeah, no, like, I, I totally agree. Um, no, man, I just did it by myself because I wanted to. And that's, that's what helped me to not do it. And I haven't wanted to since. Like, I smell it. I'm like, oh, like, it's off. It's, no, it's total bad total bad. Um, and you know, I want to show you something though. Uh, and, and this is just cause like I see the facts besides those stupid magazines, you know? So this is something that, um, a friend let me borrow and I'm using this as, um, a model so you can see, uh, what it looks like. This is someone who smokes weed and, uh, you can see how black and do you see all those like things in there? Look at that. Like crystals, whatever. Don't get excited. Those of you who are like, oh, look at that. No, 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 no. This is disgusting. This is clear. Okay? Straight up clear. And you only smoke out of this like three times. And it's like that. Okay. I'm sorry. Imagine what is going into your lungs. That is like... I have to keep that in mind, you know, um, the years of me smoking, um, and I wasn't just smoking cigarettes. I would like, when I, even when I was younger than that, I would be smoking like tea <laughs> and like incense. I'm mean, yeah, no, don't ask. Okay. But yes. So I've been taking alfalfa. Um, I'm not like saying this cures everything, but like alfalfa is, um, wonderful you can get at the vitamin cottage or probably whole foods or any like health food store that has herbs and and vitamins and i get a huge tablet of um, alfalfa and i take it about once a day and it really helps my lungs a lot you know um i know that through the years i started taking out all the the gunk that was coming out because i know i could feel it. i was like coughing it up and stuff but i felt so much better you know Plus, um, I don't do the best job, but I do try my best to eat healthy and, uh, try to eat raw things. <clears throat> and that helps with, uh, 
keeping your body, you know, taken care of and stuff too. So get out there and happy new year's. What have, <clears throat> what are your goals? <clears throat> are you guys like, you know, wanting to work out? You're trying to save up some money for vacation. Um, I mean, hey, I'm not judging. Maybe you, maybe you're saving money for like music lessons or uh, guitar lessons, maybe some art lessons, or maybe you're in college. I don't know. Do y'all thing, okay? Sean Bright. Um, but make sure that you stay with your goals, okay? Don't do like a thing where it's like a three, you know, like three days, half a day, or uh, I'll do it next week. Don't do that, people. Make sure when you do it, <clears throat> you're on a roll, okay? Now, before I close out, I would like to read to you again from this book. I like this book so far. Um, we're going to go to... Be renewed in the spirit of your mind. This is in the Bible, book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 23. Wow. That is like a really deep verse. But be renewed in the spirit of your mind. And so again, like we we're talking about uh, this new year. Make sure that when you're doing something, it's to better yourself. <clears throat> Because it's better to move forward and know that your results are always going to be <clears throat> worth something. We can't change the past. Therefore, we cannot move backwards. <clears throat> um, well, I think that's all for today. You have a wonderful New Year's Day. Whether you're shopping, don't shop too much. Shop what's important. Uh, do you need to hear heater fix? How about those tires for the winter? Are they good? <clears throat> Make sure that you got some, you know, good socks. You know, your your animals have some booties and stuff. And you have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow.